Yes, I know. You don't want Alexis's mother to be a jailbird, but oh, oh boy, oh boy, I wish I could have been there to see the look on her face when she thought you were going to. She was a little nervous, I must say. Uh, oh. But I, I want you staying care of her anyway. Yes, yes. All right, so I went a little overboard. Overboard? A little? A little overboard. I can't help it, Alex. She just... She makes me so... I've had a little time to think about this, however. And... Well, I... And you've come up with a conclusion. Yes. I have a plan to neutralize Egypt. I am not getting involved in this. I am not. Then what does this plan entail? Nothing. Hmm? Nothing. See, I figure if uh, she sees that she can't get to us, she'll get bored and leave us alone. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I can't get her out of town. I can't do any more than uh, I'm already I know, doing, I know. Eva. I, I need some prep. I want you to do something for me, okay? I want you to pretend to be Egypt and torment me. And, and I'm going to try to work on keeping my cool. Got it? Okay? <laughs> and keeping your cool? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I've got 50 bucks that says I can get you throwing lamps in five minutes. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Well, the fact is 50 bucks I'm never going to make. Egypt. You got a deal? All right, come on. You be Egypt. Give me your best shot. I know something you don't know, Ava. Alex loves me the best. Oh, yes? Well, Egypt, once upon a time, perhaps that was true, but Alex loves me. I know that, you see. <laughs> Maybe for now. But next five minutes, oh, I'll give you a month on the out to me. Not this time. He won't, Egypt. Oh, no, he you won't. You can't trust Alex. You know you can't trust him. All right, Alex. Because I don't every want to time thing. you do, you wind up getting hurt. And just as sure as shooting, you're going to get hurt. Because wrong, you're going to get tired of you. Wrong. Throw you out with a trash. Oh! <laughs> Oh, 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 no, you will oh. not win this time, Egypt. You got it. Even if I have to wipe you off the face of the earth. Do you understand Alex? me? Oh. Do you hear me? What? Excuse me. Oh. oh. God, Jeremy, am I glad to see you. Oh. Hmm. Uh. I was just about to <laughs> knock when I heard your voice. <laughs> yeah, I, I was yelling at Egypt. Is she here? Well, no, see, well, uh, Alex was pretending to be Egypt uh, so that I could practice, so that he could torment me, or she could torment me, and, and I could keep my cool. It was a smashing success, too. I see. I just stopped by to drop these papers for Tess. No, oh, she's not here. I see. Is Katie? I'd like to say hello while I'm in the basement. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm in the basement. Okay. Are you okay? You owe me 50 bucks. Earlier, when you were pretending to be Egypt, and you said that you'd get bored with me. Oh, Ava, I, that wasn't me. We were role-playing. It was your idea, remember? I know, but I hated your character. Well, I didn't think too much of yours, either. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I love you. And I always will. I, I was kind of planning on both of us opening up our Social Security checks together. I'm going to go down and... Help your mom with the basement, all right? Let me go ahead. I'm gonna sit here and figure out a way to stay calm the next time I see Egypt. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. I'll do you, that. you work on that one. I'm gonna work on it. Staying calm. Mm -hmm. Look, I know that. Stop what you What? Well, of course it's it's an important reason. I wouldn't ask you. Hello, Captain? This is Detective Master's personal reason. You see, I'm having a nervous breakdown, and I really need my fiancé more than you do right now. You? Thank you very much. Bye. No, no, no. Get the Why did you do that? Oh, I'm Ava, he thinks you have a screw. <laughs> Sweetie. Oh. Mm, these were supposed to be for your Valentine's Day present. I oh, know. And I'm enjoying every last break. Well, wait till it comes the season. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't want to wait for anything when it comes to you. Mm. Can you wait till I get 
Mm -mm. Nope. Oh. Mm. 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 You know, I really feel bad that we have to wait to get married. Mm. Oh, enforced mm. mm -hmm. That sounds oddly cheesy. Even for me. Oh. Mm. It was your idea to put me under house arrest. It was a good idea, too. Keep you away from Egypt. Okay. Mm. It should. It's better. Otherwise, you're going to be right where Egypt wants you, mm. in a lot of trouble. Mm. I think you better uh, extend my sentence. You can do that. I have to have grounds for that. Grounds? Mm -hmm. Um, what if I try to escape? Escape? Mm -hmm. mm. That would do it. Mm -hmm. Mm. I made some tea. Hey. I can't lose my daughter, Ava. You won't. You heard what Shana said. No court of law in their right mind would get Egypt custody. No court of law knows Egypt like we do. She can put on a pretty good act when she needs to. Could just prove it. <laughs> I've been trying to gather evidence on her ever since she got into town, but I don't think I have enough to stick. You're not gonna lose Alexis. Not if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> really? What are you gonna do? Short of murdering her. No, that's not funny. I want you to stop doing that now. It's not funny. You know, I really thought by now Egypt would get bored and she would move on to her next target, which I thought would be Buck. That's what Stacy said, but obviously she's not Buck. through with you. Buck, wait a minute. I forgot about Buck. What? I heard Egypt talking on the phone earlier about Buck. Buck Houston. What she even she spelled say? it. What did she say? I don't know. I really didn't hear it all. But uh, I got the distinct impression that her and Buck go back way before Chorus. I don't understand. I don't understand what their connection could possibly be. I know. Be. I, I, I don't either. I... But we've got to find out what it is. Hey, Alex. Tucker? Buck? I want to talk to you about your relationship with Egypt Masters. Egypt Masters. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I remember. I gave her a ride home the night y'all dumped her off on me. Yeah, she was in an accident with no brakes on car. Yeah, that's her. So, what did she tell you when you were in that ride with her? She 
You just thank me for the lift. It's about as intimate as it got. So the relationship kind of pushed me. Buck, shoot straight with me, will you? Alex, hey, what is this? You know Buck's involved with Stacy. Well, I also know that uh, Egypt has been bugging him ever since she got the corn. What is that all about, Buck? I mean, what does she want from you? Okay, I knew her. I know you know her. When did you know her? Where'd you get this from? Mostly from Egypt. Well, maybe she should have told you that a long time ago, years ago, we had a brief encounter. But I didn't know she's married to you at the time. She didn't tell me she had an affair. You were a shoe salesman? Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't know. You just don't look like a shoe salesman to me. Yeah, well, you don't look like a detective, so uh, we all got to make a living somehow. Look, Buck, to be honest with you, I really don't give a damn about the past. But what does concern me is the present. And what's going on between you and Egypt right now? Nothing's going on, Alex. I gave Egypt a ride home. End of story. End of story. Okay, fine. So we talked a couple times. It's no big deal. We're just shooting the breeze. Well, while you're shooting the breeze, she's taking pot shots at Ava and me. She's making our lives miserable. I'm sorry to hear that. Good. I'm glad you're sorry. If she's giving you trouble, maybe we can join forces and put a stop to it. Well, that won't be necessary. Egypt and I are fine. I mean, we talk. I'm sure she won't be a problem for me anymore. Uh, I hope everything works out for you and Ava. If you'll excuse me, I got work to do here. Thank you. And have a wonderful evening. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, Alex. Honey, this is really, really beautiful. But why are we here? Are you trying to protect me until somebody proves that I'm innocent? Sweetheart, you are innocent. And why I brought you here is just to be alone with you. Let's look at it like our honeymoon. Let's try to forget about Egypt and the police and all that crazy Alex, mess. we can't listen to me after the police interrogated me. That... Mm. Listen to me after the police interrogated me. Mm. Mm. Alex. Shut up. You talk too much. You talk too much. You are me to death. <laughs> you talk too much. You're nuts. You worry, my pets. You talk too much. tell you that I love you? I love you too, honey. You know, the next time we come here, I'm going to carry you right across that threshold as Mrs. Alex Masters. I can't wait. Right, what are Ava you doing, Scott? 
You're under arrest for violating a court order and crossing state lines. What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Alex! You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide it at no cost to you. Ava hey, Scott, you're under arrest for violating a court order and crossing state lines. Wait a minute! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed by the court. All right, now just stop it right now. Mr. Just Mr. Masters, stop it. please don't interfere. I am going to interfere. You don't have a court order, so you can't come breaking Alex, in there like this. Alex, I want a court order. What? They gave me one down at the police station. Ava, she didn't tell me this. Alex, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you a couple of times, but I just didn't want to ruin tonight. I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, a court order shouldn't have been issued anyway. Well, one was. Oh, we have to take Miss Rescott in. Ah, come on. Give me a break here. She didn't harm anybody. And this is all circumstantial evidence anyway. Well, let's leave that to the lawyers. No, let's not leave it to the lawyers, because there is going to be no lawyers. And you're not making an arrest, period. I'd take Officer Mills' advice and stay out of this, Alex. You know what you can do with your advice? You can Keep take it your up advice and you'll have charges against you. Oh, you're going to threaten me now. First you threatened Ava, now you're threatening me. We did not threaten her. We questioned her. You didn't question her. You interrogated her harshly. You're doing everything you can to nail her, and don't think I don't know why. Top dog in town, right? You were the ace detective. Ace Gene Wright. Then I came into town. And what happened? You kind of slipped down a peg or two, didn't you? Give me a break. Give me a break. You're trying to get back at me through her. And we both know it. Nice try, Alex. But making this thing personal won't keep me from doing my job. And we both know it, too. Miss Rescott, I advise you to come with me. No, 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 get your hands off of her. Alex, stop it. Alex, no. Please. Alex, stop it. Get out of here. Now, you're not going to get into any more trouble because of me. I should have told you about the court order. We never should have left Corinth to begin with. Okay, somebody talk some sense. Stop it. Listen to me. I have to go with them. Don't you see? If you keep this up, it's only going to make it worse. We'll straighten this out. They're not going to put me in jail. I'm innocent. They can't put me in jail. Wait here, and I'll be with you in a moment. Jerk. Where's Shana? Hi. Shana. Hi, what happened? Look, uh, they issued a court order telling her not to leave town, and we did. I, I didn't tell them about the court order. How far from Corinth did you go? I don't know, about a half a mile or so. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, it's not really a lot of fun right now. You know, they've gone way over the line in this one. If you want me to handle this, I will. I'll be happy to. I would be more than appreciative. All right. Stay right here. Stay right here. Pat. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, Pat, listen. Wright has gone over the top. Now, I want you to get him off her back. He's just doing his job, Alex. Doing his job? But are you kidding me? Do you call... Harassing an innocent person, a job description? Alex, look, I'm not going to go through this with you again. I don't want to go through this. Can I handle this for a minute, Sergeant? Sergeant Graham, I'm the representative of Mr. Escott now. Always a pleasure, Mrs. Bocek. I shouldn't have to be here, neither should she. You know you have no real evidence against her. Unfortunately, we do. I just got a report back from the lab, and the blood on the towel and the flashlight was Mrs. Masters. They're talking about blood type here. No, I said what I mean. They did a very complete DNA test. The blood is Mrs. Masters. No doubt about it. You know, I'm glad Miss Westcott finally agreed to counsel. I'm afraid she's gonna need it. You're right, this isn't funny. Oh my God. Shana, she's innocent. I'd take my life on her. Oh, no, she is. It's just that now they've got positive, definite proof that Possibly murder. I wish we had another suspect. That's what we got to get. The only suspect that we have is the one that's disappeared. Alex, think. Is there anybody else in town that Egypt has been involved in when she's come, since she's come back to court? No. Anybody at all that might want to know? No! Away? What? Shana. Keep an eye on Ava. I'll be back as soon as. 
soon as I can. Okay. I'll be back. This man I'm looking for. Got some news for you, Buck. Looks like the police have some pretty strong evidence that Egypt's been murdered. But I guess not. like the police have got some pretty strong evidence that Egypt's been murdered. But then again, that's not really news to you, is it, Lyndon? You still there? I came to see you today. Okay, I told you. No, I haven't been at home. Why are you looking for me? I've been at the police station where Ava's been charged with Egypt's murder. Come on, they didn't. Yes, they did. But you and I both know that that isn't the case, don't we? So figure it out. Yeah. Wasn't all that hard. Shana asked me, was there anybody else in town that would want Egypt out of their head? What do you mean? You're not thinking I'd do it. Well, she's been in your face ever since she got to Corinth. You didn't like it. That doesn't mean I'd kill her. Then why did you tell me that she wasn't going to be a problem much longer? I just thought she might back down from you. No, 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 no. You sounded like you were real sure, like you knew something nobody else knew. Look, I didn't do anything to you, Well, why don't you tell that to the police? I'll tell you something about it. Ava is not going down for Egypt's murder. Nobody is. Because Egypt's still alive. Gotta tell myself. I knew it. I knew Egypt was still alive. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Why didn't you say anything? I didn't know what Egypt was really up to. You knew she wanted to disappear? Yeah, to make you miss her. I thought she'd be back by now. Well, she's not. And now Ava's in jail for her murder. That's the part of the plan she didn't tell me. But you must have known something was up. You were with Tucker when he found that bloody towel in the back of Ava's car. And I tried to make Egypt come back. What? You talked to her? It's her on the phone. It would have worked too if you hadn't come in like you did. Will you please tell me one thing? Will you tell me why you would befriend a person like Egypt? Come down to the police station. Answer any questions you want. That was a question! It's my business! And you're making it mine! Well, I want to clean up this mess. And I'm leaving town. You're leaving town? What about State Stacy already knows? Susie, close up, please. Lock up. This bar is closed, guys. Do you need me to close up the register? No, it's already taken care of. Amazing. Let's go, Buck. And from there, she took a commercial flight out. Where, we don't know. So why don't you just tell this to the DA and get me out of here? We did. He doesn't believe us. As far as he's concerned, she's buried in a cornfield someplace. <sighs> Eva, I'm really sorry. I swear I didn't know what was going down until it was too late. You shouldn't have gotten involved with her in the first place. She was blackmailing me. She tried to tell Stacy about Leonard. Was that that loan shark? Yeah, it's the loan shark. <sighs> and Buck didn't realize it was illegal. What does Stacy think of all this? She gave him a walk of papers. Did you blame her? No, I don't blame her. I don't blame her if she never wanted to see me again. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's not the case. What's that supposed to mean? You gotta go back to Stacy's house. Why? In case Egypt calls. He's gotta find out exactly where she is. Once upon a time there lived a young prince. Stop this mess before it ever got out of hand. I know I should have stopped Egypt. And not gotten involved with that that loan shark that put Stacy and her family in real danger. I'll take care of him. I'll pay him back. Just keep him away from Stacy and her family. Do you understand? Yes, I already talked to him. He's gonna give me more time. Where are you gonna get the money? 
You're not going to steal from Curtis again, I hope. I was desperate, and you were stupid for getting involved with that loan shark to begin with. If I could change the past, I would. Since he deserves better than this. Oh, you're right, maybe she does. Damn right, and I'm right. And Jack Forbes was a stand-up kind of guy who would have never put his family in this kind of jeopardy. I understand that. So what was... What did you want from Stacy? You think I was running some sort of scam on You tell me I'm wrong. Damn right you're wrong. I love that one. I gave her everything I had. And unfortunately, a few things I didn't. Is that how you got into money trouble? Yeah, I had to act like some kind of big shot. I guess I just didn't think me straight up as much of a lark. Guess I was right about that. No, Alex is right. She deserves better. But let's get one thing straight right here, right now. I love Stacy. I always will. I can't believe they deny me bail. Honey, look at it from the prosecutor's point of view. It looked like we skipped town. Yeah, yeah, I should look at it from the jury's point of view. It looks like I killed Egypt in a fit of rage. Well, you know, Alex, you know, sometimes I just look around and I think, you know, I'm going to wake up. This whole thing is nothing but a nightmare. It, it, it all just looks worse than it really is. Oh, really? <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm a murderer. Oh, that's not true. Oh, really? You name one person who doesn't? Well, your mom, for one. That's the best you can do? My mother? No, it was just the first person that came to mind. Oh, Alex, even Mama had to admit to Shana that she heard me threaten to kill Egypt. Well, threats are not actions. Be honest with me. They have a case against me. A really good one, don't they? I mean, this case isn't even going to go to trial. We're going to find you, and we're going to get you out of here. I really want to believe that, Alex. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Alex, I didn't expect to be in here to begin with. Look, I'm trying to be brave. I really, really am. But when I look at things, I, it, it just it seems hopeless. But it's not. You know what it's like in here at night. Alex, I get really scared. Oh, sweetie. I know. You know, last night I just thought, if I could just hold you, that everything would be better. And then I got really sad because I thought, what if they can't convince the, the jury that I'm innocent? What if they really send me away, Alex? I'll never see Sandy again. I'll never hold you again. No, that's not going to happen. You promise? Yes, I promise. Hey, uh, excuse me. What is it? May I go in? Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Uh, look, I'm, I'm with the, I'm with the force. Yeah, I know Detective Masters. As a matter of fact, I know all about you. Detective Abu told me to watch out for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Oh, you call watching television work? <laughs> Look, uh, what happens if I tell uh, Abood about uh, your work practices? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? It's his TV. Get a girl. Get on your good side, you know. Look, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, can, I just, can I just have five minutes? That, that's all I'm asking for, please. Detective, you know the rules. Now I'm sorry. Uh, hey! <laughs> oh, gee, I've got your cups. <laughs> sorry about that. I uh, think you're going to have to arrest me. That could be arranged, Detective, but this ain't Club Med and the cells ain't co -ed. Excuse me. Um, I just realized that we weren't introduced. What's your name? Officer Johnson. Hi. I'm Ava Rescott. Uh, can you say? Uh, are you married? Twelve years. Now cut to the chase. Uh, well, uh, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm not used to being in a place like this. And, uh, well, quite frankly, three days ago, my life was sort of just taken away from me. And I'm really just scared to death. Well, the man I love is, is, is standing here. And, uh, and I'll tell you, it's just driving me crazy not being able to hold him. By the way, I'm innocent. Well, 
Just two minutes, please. That's all I'm asking. Two minutes. Ah, uh, I'm supposed to be immune to sob stories. All right, detective, spread them. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I may have a heart of gold, but I ain't got rocks for brains. Thank you. Oh. Well, uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it easy. No, wait. I'll be... Five minutes. about getting a car phone. Excuse me? I have only tried to call you about a hundred times. Well, I'm here now. What do you want? Son, that was going to be my next question. You know, oddly enough, they don't have Corinth's papers here, and I am starved for information. Where are you? I'll send you a copy. Oh, subtlety never was your strong suit, was it, Buckaroo? Why don't you just give me an oral report? Everything's working out just like you planned. Great. Now, how's Miss Ava like in prison life? She's not. Well, isn't that just a pity? <laughs> Actually, your plans worked a little too good. What do you mean by that? Well, Ava's afraid she's going to be convicted. So? So, <laughs> Alex is going to pull some strings to get her out on bail. They're going to bolt, man. Well, where, where are they going? Anywhere. They're going to take off. And they plan on taking Sandy and Alexis with well. They can't do that. They can't take my little girl. No. Who's going to stop them? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Let's go over this phone conversation again. Now, what did you say to Egypt again? I told her her plan had backfired and that you and Ava are tighter than Fishman's not. Good. But she didn't say anything about coming back to court. No. I told her it's only a matter of time before she loses Alexis from... Daddy, Daddy! Hey, sweetheart, how are you? I'm oh. taking Alexis over to Kate's to have lunch with Sandy. Oh, you're going to have lunch with Grandma? Oh. Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks, Minnie. I appreciate this. So. Okay, sweetie. Don't eat everything. <laughs> Go with Minnie. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I told you were going to pull some heavy-duty strings, get Ava out on bail. Then you both disappear with the daughter. Good. Good. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just wait and see if Egypt takes the bait. Oh, let me take this in the other room. I told Shana to give me a call in case there was an update on Ava's hearing. Hey, look at here. Where have you guys been? Did you have lunch with Grandma? We made cookies. Oh, you did. The chocolate chips. Oh, they are, and they're my favorites. Can I save this for next time? All right. Good. Come on, get upstairs. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, look, I was going to go down and visit Ava at the police station. Uh, I shouldn't be more than a couple hours. Fine. You overheard our conversation, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, it sounded pretty drastic to you. Alex, it sh sounded shameful. Look, Minnie, we're just trying to get Egypt back in town. We looked at all the different possibilities. This seems to be the only option. Egypt's not a bad woman. Well, she's pushing the limit here. I know her heart. And it's a good one. Minnie, I know you love her. But a woman with a good heart wouldn't let Ava take the blame for something that didn't even happen. 
And that's an excuse to use an innocent child as bait? No, I, I, I don't want to involve Alexis in this and any more than anybody else, but I don't see that I have an alternative. It's just love for Alexis more than her own life. You call that love? She ran off without her child, without so much as a goodbye kiss, for weeks, without even a phone call, Minnie. She left because she had to. What does that mean? Egypt missed you more than she could bear. And so did Alexis. Egypt, it, it broke her heart. So she thought she would come here to work it out with you. The man who left her. She didn't come here to work it out with anybody. She came here to punish me and Ava. Because you left her. I left her because there's no more love between us. And you know that. Alex, what, what happens if Egypt comes back? I, I don't know. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But are you still going to take Alexis away from I don't see that I have any alternatives. But then that means she'll never see her again. Well, for a while, yeah, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to do what's best for Alexis. Alex, a child needs a mother. Did actually say she was coming home? Well, no. Well, then why do you seem so sure? Well, because I think Buck really set up a, a perfect trap for her. He said that you and I were closer than ever and we were going to take off with Alexis. Well, did she believe him? Well, she's only got two choices. She's either going to call Buck a liar and lose Alexis or come home and face the music. Come on, now. Don't lose hope. I'm going to try not to, but it's so loud in here, especially at night. No. Especially when they turn off the light. I know, sweetie, I know. I know. We get married now, we could have conjugal visits in the state penitentiary. Uh, stop it. Just stop that right now. I don't even like joking about that. Hey, my opinion? I think Egypt is planning her return to court as we speak. <laughs> children are upstairs playing. <gasps> Thank God she's still here. Egypt, where have you been? Uh, away. Look, you don't understand what a nightmare this is turning into. Oh, yes, I do. Ava is in prison. I need your help. I missed you. I missed you. But see, it's these vindictive people. They're trying to take my little girl away from me. They're trying to take Alexis. And you are the only one that can help me stop them. Me, if you love me, please, please don't desert me now. If she doesn't come back. She'll come back for Alexis. Buck has set the perfect trap. All we have to do is just wait and let Egypt step into it. When? When? Well, hopefully soon. Oh, Alex, I can't stand this. Buck already admitted that Egypt is alive. Why isn't that enough? They won't believe Buck. They want Egypt in the flesh. I'll tell you something. I've only been in here for about three days, and I feel like that woman has taken everything away from me. Hey, she hasn't taken me. <laughs> and when we get out of here, we're going to get everything back. Trust me. I love you. Lift up the papers, please. Stuart, I left my AK-47 at home. Thank you, Stuart. It's so pleasant, isn't it? <laughs> He's just doing his job. I brought something here that should keep everything off your mind. Oh. Sandy drew those for you. Oh. Isn't they great? Oh, look at this one. 
funny. <laughs> There's me and you and Candy. And look at Alexis. I know. He looks just like her. Doesn't he really it? loves having her around. He's almost acting like he's her babysitter. Oh. You know, he's going to be so upset if Egypt takes Alexis away. Well, she's not. I've got plenty of proof that she's an unfit mother. What mother, not even Egypt, wouldn't fight for her own daughter? Well, she's not going to get her. As long as we stick together. Always. Let's just hope she shows up so there's a fight to fight. Time's up. Oh. Okay. Oh, don't go, honey. Don't you see? Can't you see if you could stay with me just a little bit longer? All right, all right. I I'll try. But first, let me go check in with Minnie and see how the kids are doing, okay? All right. I'll tell you back. Hello? Alex, where are you? Uh-huh. Well, no, everything's fine here. When will you be home? I mean, exactly. Uh, no, I wanted to uh, go visit an old friend at the hospital. Oh, okay. All right. With her. He's at the jail. Yeah. Holding her little hand as they gazed each other through the bars. No, he didn't go into any detail. How long before he gets back? Oh, at least another hour. Hey, sweetie. Oh, Alex. Did, did Minnie remember that Sandy had liked to take a nap after lunch? Yeah, sweetie. They're, they're both sound asleep taking a nap. Look, I've arranged something. I've arranged a phone call for you. So all you have to do is give me a little time to get home, and then call, and then you can talk to Sandy. Oh, God, I wish I could hug you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me the way you do. Oh, sweet. We all love you, honey girl. One visitor at a time. Oh, Mama. Ma'am, you have to stay outside of the cell. Mm -hmm. You have five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 